I want to give you uh, my testimony of a hell experience that the Lord gave me where I left this realm and went into hell. Before I give you this testimony, I just want to say this. I will give an account to the Lord Jesus in my judgment when I stand before him in judgment of every idle word that I speak. And so I say that to you to say that, that I speak the truth here. I lie not. On the night of February 28th, um, 2022, I was asleep in my bed. And, and I don't know how long I had been asleep. God knows. But at a certain time, I was, I was supernaturally transported from my bed and immediately I entered another realm. I entered into hell. Um, and uh, when I entered into hell, I, I cannot describe the atmosphere of hell. I, I, I really cannot. It, it, is, it is almost like, um, like the fear that we experience on earth is not commensurate to the fear in hell. The fear in hell is so many times more intense than the fear on earth. It, it was like it was like um, it was like nothing that you can describe on earth. If you could take the fear you would have if they were going to throw you to lions, it would not compare to the fear that you have in hell, because the fear in hell is a permanent fear. It is a the atmosphere of hell is is fear. And it's a part of your torment to be in rank fear perpetually. It, I, cannot, I cannot describe that feeling of, of when I realized that I, that I was in hell. Um, and I also felt a sense of, of, of hopelessness, of helplessness. It was, but it was not an earthly type of hopelessness. It was, it was a type of hopelessness that you have when you feel abandoned by God. A lot of us on earth don't realize that we experience the presence of God. The Bible says the whole earth uh, is, is full of his glory. So you experience the presence of God. That's why you can laugh and talk about God. And, 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 and that's why we can enjoy each other because we are in the presence of God. But when I entered into hell for the first time, I realized what it felt like to be abandoned by God. There is no God in hell. Mm. And I was in hell. When I woke up in hell, I was strapped to a table. I was strapped there and my arms are strapped to the table. Uh, I'm strapped to uh, a table and there's a large demon. He's standing over me to my left side. He's standing right behind me. He's about eight foot tall and he's standing over me um, and he's wearing a black robe. And there is at my feet a tunnel of lava, um, just burning lava that this demon is about to insert me into. I'm strapped to the table. There's lava at my feet. And I realized that, that the, the burning lava was the only thing that gave the room light. I, I could see because of, uh, because of the, the light illuminating from the lava. The fear in me was beyond horrific. When you say I was terrified, that is inadequate to describe the, 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 the fear that's in hell. The demon that was over me, he was reaching for something and I could see his arm reached across me, just right across me. And as I'm laying there, I could see his arm and his hand extending from the black robe that he had on. And his, his hand was skeletal like. And, and the Lord gave me the ability to, to perceive his thoughts and with an intensity, it was like I could hear him say, I got you now. I mean, it, it was it was it, it it just it was shattering how angry and 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 excited he was to have me in that on that table of torment. And his hand, as that skeletal like hand extended, I could see that it had skin on it, but it was a skeleton. I can't can't describe it. All I can tell you is that he had on a black robe. He's reaching across my body. I can see this lava that I'm about to be inserted in. And this is a type of the torment that some people will experience in hell. There are specific torments for different people in hell. There are, there are people who will be in a cage, um, you know, in a cage burning. And there are people who will experience literal tormenting things like this. And, and I'm telling you, I was so in fear and, and, and that 
that feeling of being abandoned by God gripped me. And, and I was just so glad that, 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 God, that God actually just let me experience it for a short period of time. And then he allowed me to, 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 to pull out of it. And I remember at, that, that the Lord brought me back brought me back to the reality that it wasn't my time and I began to I began to realize I began to be able to pull out of hell I began to pull out and as I pulled out I could I could see myself rising above the table of torment but I could still see the demon and I could still see the table of torment and I could still see the lava but I could see the periphery of my bedroom as I pulled out a little bit more I could see I could see a shadow of the demon and the table of torment and I could see a little bit more of my bedroom. And the Lord blessed me to be able to pull all the way out of that thing. And when I came to myself, I was overjoyed. As I sat there in my bedroom, just remembering it is, is overwhelming. I'm, I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now, today is the day of salvation. I'm telling you now, the Lord allowed me to experience that so that I can tell you what hell is like. Hell is real and you need to do everything in your power to avoid going there. Any, whatever you, every, give, give the Lord every bit of you to keep from going there. I'm saying to you right now, Jesus died on the cross for our sins and, he did, and his, his death is in vain when you don't live your life for him. I'm telling you now that today is the day of salvation and you need to get saved, you need to get born again, you need to recognize Jesus and make him the Lord over your life. Acknowledging Jesus is not sufficient. He's got to be Lord over your life. You can't just go through saying, I acknowledge Jesus. You must say he's my Lord and I serve him with my life. I'm telling you right now, today is the, salvation, the day of salvation and you need to get born again. Give your life to Jesus this day. Salvation is on the earth. Salvation is on the earth. There is no salvation in hell. Salvation is on the earth. As long as you are on the earth, you have a chance to repent of your sins. Salvation is on the earth. There is no salvation in hell. Salvation is on the earth. 